haven't done a vlog in a really long time. So I guess, essentially, first, off the bat, I'm going to say that I'm sorry. From the pit of my soul. Because I know how you guys find me so entertaining and just so enlightening to listen to. It's my angelic voice. It's my rhythmic antics. It's everything. That's a culmination of the reasons that you all love to listen to me speak. Anyway. Off that high horse. Um, when I last left you, Lives in a World, which is essentially why I do this. So, like, the three people that follow me on YouTube, this will make no sense to you whatsoever. So, last I left the Live Journal World was me and Chris in this weird um, possibility of a long-distance relationship turning into, like, an even longer-distance relationship. Or ceasing to be a relationship altogether because I don't know five hours and 400 miles sucks some pretty big balls 24 hours I I can't even think of an appendage that would suck maybe an entire leg it would suck an entire leg I don't even know anyways so Chris and I like it was really weird we talked about the Tacoma thing. I was also PMSing, so even though I wasn't overreacting about the situation, I was kind of just overreacting in general. There was lots of crying, lots of weeping, lots of sobbing, lots of lack of sleep from crying for maybe a day. Um, but we hashed everything out. And then it kind of brought up some other weird things that had been going on um, in our relationship that had yet to be defined and essentially like what it all came down to is he scared himself, if that makes sense. I guess Chris was in a long relationship between the ages of 16 and 18 and I know that was a long time but you know, we're girls, well except for one boy on my friends list, but we're all girls, we know how it is to have one relationship, that's LA, my roommate's dog, <laughs> um, and that's Rifle, my dog, um, but we all know what it's like to have, like, that one relationship that kind of, like, defines us, and, I mean, my first relationship was between the age of 15 and 17, and, like, I still refer to that relationship as a big thing, so Chris had this two and a half year long relationship between the ages of 16 and 18. This bitch was psycho. I mean, I, 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 I have nothing to be jealous of because it was so long ago and I'm an adult. So it's not like that, but like this bitch is psycho. Like when he tells me like the things that she did and the ways that she acted and the things that she would say, I'm just like, wow. There have been some moments in my life where I'm like, wow, I shouldn't have said that. I just sounded like a psycho girlfriend, but no, like this bitch was off the Richter scale psycho girlfriend. So as to be expected from any relationship that goes south, um, there are some battle wounds and some scars that are left. And I guess, like, since that point in his life, he hasn't been really comfortable with this commitment thing. Which, also, him being a 20-year-old boy, like, hello, commitment is terrifying and huge for anyone, but especially a 20-year-old boy who has only had two relationships before me, one of which was like six months and this bitch lived like four hours away since I saw her like, I don't know. Anyways, so commitment issues, of course, as everybody has them and everybody has weird relationship issues, but essentially like he gets weirded out by commitment, but he's the one that was like, I love you and I want to marry you and I want to have children with you and I want to do these other said long-term things with you. So this was all his fault. So we talked, and we talked, and we talked, which was actually really nice because before, like, with my ex, I would start crying and, like, literally, like, I feel so stupid saying this because, like, I allowed this to happen, but he would be like, get out of my face, go in the bedroom, and shut the door. And I would, which is sickening to me now. Like, I almost feel disgusted with myself that I did that um but that's like what he would do and if I refused if I was like no I want to talk about this he would just leave 
So the fact that Chris isn't even here and like he works that day and he calls me on his ten. He calls me on his lunch. He called me when he got off work. When he got off work, we were on the phone for like hours and we just hashed everything out. It was beautiful. It was healthy and good and not toxic, which is so just doesn't happen to me so I was really super stoked on that that we like worked everything out and like he's not there's like a 15% chance that he's going to Tacoma I just I mean like the situation sucked and I'm not taking away from the situation how bad it sucked but like I definitely did overreact because he said there's a small probability that I'm going to Washington and I took that as like I'm leaving tomorrow goodbye so I overreacted a little um we're all good now and I'm thinking me that we've gotten that he's gotten past this whole commitment thing like he hits like this three month mark with um girls I suppose and then he's just like uh that's enough but we're there and he's like I don't see myself going anywhere and I don't see anything happening so so far so good but you know I I'm not worried about it I have nothing but good feelings and I also like that we can be so open with one another and he's like yeah usually at three months i freak out that's what's happening like i'm having this weird little like commitment freak out i want to let you know but i'm past it and we talk through it and everything's good this is a really positive thing this is huge i have never had this ever this adult relationship all of my relationships have always been childish and stupid and dumb and poopy faced childish things um but I am so super excited because he's gonna be here in 20 days my birthday is in 23 days while he's here I have this thing where I kind of go overboard um when people come to visit me I like to plan a lot of stuff so they're not bored and so then they're like oh yeah we went and I hung out with Jenny and we did all this awesome shit that she planned and it was awesome so I kind of do that again, and sometimes I kind of just, like, I just take off, running, full force. And before I know it, a whole week is planned. And he's only here for a week. But, he's going to get here on Tuesday. We are going to, let's face it, have tons of ridiculous sex. And then the next morning, we're going to leave for California. We're going to go stay with our friends. Like, I think it's funny, because, like, we have a long-distance relationship. We have long-distance relationship friends, and they're, like, our best couple friends. Anyways, we're going to go stay with them in Riverside, California. We're leaving Wednesday. Then Thursday, we're going to go to Knott's Berry Farm, which makes me super excited because I love Knott's Berry Farm. And then Friday, we're going to come home, and then Saturday, we're hanging out with my parents. We're going to this, like, old um, uh, burger shop called Johnny Rockets, and then we're going to go bowling. And then, so, that's Wednesday through Sunday, like, or Saturday, fully booked. I mean, like, trip to California, going to Prescott, and all this crazy stuff. And then, finally, like, we will have Sunday, Monday, and then he's leaving Tuesday. So, like, but it'll be fun, because he's only been to California, like, twice. And I don't know if he's been in Knott's Berry Farm. I don't think so, because so many people, like, neglect Knott's Berry Farm, which is so terrible to me, because it's old, and it's cute, and it's the peanuts characters like snoopy and charlie brown and they have really awesome old-fashioned rides and like the tickets are so cheap that's 40 bucks for an entire day with an all-you-can-eat barbecue buffet like that's awesome disneyland tickets right now are 72 motherfucking dollars not including any food parking any of that 72 motherfucking dollars like whoa okay all right um Chris is going to Colorado for a couple days for his family reunion, and uh, that's it. And I've been working all the time. My paycheck was a million billion dollars. It's kind of nice. So, um, caught up, excited. I was born, uh, my birthday is July 30th. If you want to buy me anything, ask me for my half.com wish list because I really like books. Really like books. That's all for me today. Bye.